Have you ever considered turning your sunlight into cash? Well, with Duke Energy's new Power Pair program, that's precisely what you may be able to do. Transforming your roof space with the help of solar plus batteries into measurable savings. This isn't just going green, it's making green. Hi, I'm Sinue with DroneCorp, helping people buy solar, roofing, and energy storage through education. Check us out at dronequote.com and if you feel we earned it, please consider hitting the subscribe button. In this video, we'll explore Duke Energy's virtual power plant program to earn money by helping manage the grid. Duke Energy's old solar rebate program officially ended in 2022, but the fact that there was a rebate in the first place speaks volumes about the state and utilities commitment to renewable energy. Plus, let's not kid ourselves, a decentralized form of energy generation is a big win for the utility. This program offered significant cost savings for people installing solar, and while the program is no longer active, it translated into 40 cents per watt or up to $4,000 homeowner rebates. G's like that can make a man pass out. But unlike Diamonds or the Wu-Tang Clan, this incentive was not forever. But it seems Duke Energy is making up for it in other ways. This reminds me of when my drill sergeant would yell, shut the f up, Private Montoya, more walk, less talk. I appreciated the Army's encouragement because they taught me to recognize action, which Duke Energy seems to embody with some pretty lofty goal setting. Have you heard of Pascal's wager? The what? The what? And the what? His argument was that if you believe in God and he exists, you gain infinite reward. But if God doesn't exist, the loss is minimal. However, if you don't believe and God does exist, you face infinite losses. Given this outcome, it's more rational to take the wager and believe in God. I say this to speak about climate change. While many don't believe it's real, the loss incurred by acting to lower greenhouse gas emissions is far less than the consequences of global warming. And it seems that Duke Energy has taken that wager as well because they are a company of action. They've set ambitious climate goals, striving toward at least a 50% reduction in CO2 emissions from electricity generation by 2030 on the way to net zero by 2050. They're also targeting net zero methane emissions from natural gas distribution by 2030. But you don't need to wait until 2030. Duke Energy's long-term plan is inspiring and offers a side of motivation with that new, new, that new stuff being Duke Energy's Power Pair program, which offers incentives for installing solar panels and battery storage systems in homes. It's similar to the old rebate program, but more gooder. What? I'm ESL. Imagine getting up to $9,000 to install solar panels and battery storage systems at home. That is the premise behind this new Power Pair program, which kicks off in July of 2024 and also implies that you have to pair solar with batteries to qualify. So why would the utility be in favor of giving you up to $9,000 to install solar plus batteries? Well, the concept of saving the planet is altruistic, but the program is also self-serving for Duke Energy. Through distributed energy generation, and more importantly, energy storage, Duke Energy can strengthen its utility grid. By enrolling, Customers allow Duke Energy to temporarily adjust the system's operating setting a minimum of 30 times per year up to a maximum of 36 times per year to provide stored energy back to the grid. In other words, they can access your stored electricity when needed according to the terms. However, not everything that shines is gold. While the program seems to aim high, it may have some drawbacks. Look, $9,000 is a lot of money, don't get me wrong. But as mentioned, you don't just get the money. There are strings attached besides system access. First, this is a pilot program. And like the TV shows you've never heard of because they never made it past the pilot stage, this program is not yet set in stone. Also, the funding is a one-time rebate. So it's a one and done type of thing. Second, it's not as simple as California's self-generation incentive program where you applied and if you did so in time, you could gain access to rebate funds. No, this is a lottery program where participants are chosen at random. But I think one of the most significant drawbacks is that by giving up control to your stored energy, you run the risk of potentially needing juice 
only to find out it's been depleted by the utility. But I think for $9,000, it may soften the trouble if you're left in the dark. Oh, and another thing about rebates like this. You gotta watch out for companies that jack up the price of the system because they know you're getting a rebate. Unfortunately, this is not unheard of as people have complained about this issue with other incentive programs. This is why you may want to consider calling drone quote. I won't toot my own horn, but we've made a name for ourselves for transparency and competitive pricing. And whether or not you believe in climate change, that's not too relevant to going green for the sake of your wallet. That's why I installed solar panels because it didn't make sense. It made dollars. But that was back before batteries were so prominent and before people were more aware of how battery storage differs from battery backup, where one saves you money and the other saves the food in your fridge, which is very important for prospective battery customers to understand as not all batteries can do both. And why we made this video explaining the difference, which you should check out to understand better how a battery system may or may not serve you. Now, as they say in Jamaica, Auf Wiedersehen.